my time overseas, it was in some ways one of the most challenging times for me, and in many ways it was one of the most rewarding. Um, it was a challenge. I, I studied in Germany, um, and I actually had to learn German um, in an intense course when I went over there, and uh, it, it was a great experience. I remember the shock of coming to a different culture and um, looking for other people like me that spoke English um, that I could do with that. And um, what I remember was really uh, taking risks and getting to know other people was, was very valuable. I also learned from some of my mistakes. And when I think one of the biggest mistakes that, that I made when I was over there, and I see a lot of our international students do the same thing that I did, is when you get into a conversation in your host country's language, they get talking very fast, and they'll ask you, did you understand? And I remember as a student not wanting to feel like I was dumb. So I'd say, yeah, yeah. If I was in Germany or I'd, in English, I'd say, yes, 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 I got it. And one of those times was when I was getting my student ID. And what they had asked, what I know now, was did you check all the information thoroughly? And I didn't understand what they said, so I said, yeah. And I got my ID, and I was a Chinese student. And then I had to go back, and I had to apologize, and, and it, it actually took several weeks to get that out. Um, and what I learned, what I should have said, is to try to repeat what I understood. Um, because I got part of what they said. And uh, it's one of the, the things that I tell students who are coming from other countries is here at Purdue, in Indiana, in the Midwest part of the United States, people are generally friendly. And it's okay if s somebody says, did you understand what we said? As say, I think so. Can I just repeat back what I think you said? And that will save you as a student the trauma like I had of having to go back and have your student ID reclassified to your proper. The other mistake that I remember making is I love finding other students that spoke my native language, English. And so what I did is I used that for a crutch. And what happened then is my German didn't get as good as it could have. And I think it's natural for us as human beings to want to be like other people like us. And it was easier for me to speak English. And I see students, whatever native language you have, that's the easiest language we have. Uh, my suggestion for students is when you get your, with your friends, make an agreement that on certain days you will speak your native language because that's part of who we are. And there, there's a connection and a, 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 a feeling of, of, of ease when I can talk to other people in my native language. But let's also agree on certain days that we are only going to speak English. Because what that's going to do is that's going to get our English better. And when we come into class, it's going to help us do better in class because we've sharpened our, our English. And that is, if I think back, the, the thing I would have changed the most when I was an inter international student, that would have been it.